Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and today uh, we're looking at this. Now what this is, is, I will get the uh, keyboard so it all becomes uh, clear. This is a Auric Atmos. Um, basically it's an Auric one. Well this is the interesting thing. Uh, I've got an Auric Atmos case here. And I've just started working on this and on my um, main board it actually says Auric 1. Now I don't know whether at the, when they brought the Atmos out they had a load of Auric 1 boards and they thought sod it we'll just use them in the Atmos because essentially the Auric 1 and the Atmos are pretty much the same computer. Uh, there's some differences in the ROM. Um, I'm pretty much sure that's all that's really the only difference between them. Now anyway, like I said, um, this all intents and beings, like I said, because the case is an Orion Atmos case. Perhaps they did something like Sinclair did when the um, Sinclair Plus came out and you could send your old 48k in or buy the case and um, upgrade your 48k um, Spectrum to a Spectrum Plus just by changing the cases. I don't know if Orion, Orion may have done something similar. But uh, anyway, yeah. This is a um, Oric 1 stroke Oric Atmos uh, computer. I've had this, it's another of these computers, I've had it for years, it's another car boot sale cheapy I picked up. I remember when I bought it, I tried it, I plugged it in and um, it didn't work. I um, can't remember whether it did anything or not actually, um, but I know it didn't work and it ended up in the attic. And I dragged it down the other, uh, other day and I... Uh, found a power supply that had worked, I seem to have lost the original one I did have the original Auric supply for it, but it just needs 9 volt DC, unsmooth DC um, I plugged it in and I was getting um, nothing on screen at all um, apart from just a little bit of like wavy lines and some background uh, video interference, that was pretty much it. So I opened it up and I uh, got the old trusty uh, voltmeter out and I um, this thing uses a um, 7905, not a 7805, so it's a minus 5 volt voltage regulator it uses. Um, I've got the one here. Anyway, I um, stuck my... that's the... Uh, that's the little voltage rig, oh I'm showing that on screen, that's the little voltage rig there, like I said it's a 7905 minus 5 volt voltage regulator as opposed to what we normally uh, play with in like the old spec is which is the 7805 um, plus 5 volt voltage regulator but anyway I uh, stuck my um, test meters on the output of that which should have been 5 volts and I was getting 8 volts so I rather quite quickly and hastily put my um, meter probe on the VCC line of the 6502 there and I am getting 8 volts where I should be getting 5 volts so I very quickly switched the computer off and fortunately I had some in stock I, uh, I replaced the um, 7905 there with a brand new one as you can see as a uh, there. Interestingly enough, this has been changed before as well because the soldering around it was um, pretty ropey. Uh, it weren't shorted or anything, but it wasn't in the nicest, uh, neatest soldering. So um, even if that hadn't been faulted, I'd have probably redone the soldering on it anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I put a 7905 in there and um, I powered it up. And I'll just show you on the screen now what I first got when I uh, powered it up. Let's make sure you can see the screen there. So I'll switch it on and that is what it was getting. So um, obviously it didn't like 8 volts where it should have had 5 volts. Now I left it running like this while I was taking a few measurements round. I've even got the old, um, the old oscilloscope out if you can see there. Uh, I thought this was going to be a real um, bugger of a uh, bit of a challenge this one with um, quite an over voltage like that. So I dug the old oscilloscope out um, and I had it on for a few minutes and I was um, just doing a bit of a touch test like this until I got to that RAM chip there. I, don't forget, I will switch this off now. And I uh, I burnt my finger on it. In fact, that is it's only been on for seconds. That's red hot. Uh, the rest are 
get to a nice warm ram like temperature but that one literally it's only even it's yeah it's um, even hot now uh, it was burning hot I uh, burnt my finger on it so um, I thought first port of call before we uh, do anything else I uh, let's just take this out. I just put that in just so I could show you what it was doing initially so we uh, whip that out now these are um, my eyesight's going now but uh, it's not as good as it used to be uh, let me see if I can find something I can uh, just get that with these are IMS um, 2600P dash uh, 150s which I don't have any of but what I um, did is I have stuck in a um, TMS 4164 which should um, I think it's pretty much an equivalent of this I haven't dug the data sheet out for this yet but I'm I'm pretty sure that that's an equivalent anyway I uh, I shove that in there Let's just get that in the board and um, I'll show you what we've got up to now I'll just switch it on like that and as we can see now I know it's not exactly oh you can't just see that that's going off the screen let's uh, bring you up like that I don't know if you can see that or not but we are actually getting here the um, copyright message the um, bytes 3 ready so the computer is actually up and running and amazingly um, that over voltage all it's actually really killed was one uh, RAM chip now obviously there's still something um, awry with this computer it's not the video cable I don't think no it's not um, obviously like I said there is still something wrong with this um, I'm wondering whether it is around the video output circuitry I'm really really hoping it's not the ULA that's um, died on it these I, I have seen these for sale um, I would possibly be able to get a replacement I may may even have some but um, yeah I'm hoping it's not the ULA there that's um, at fault I don't think it is with an effect like this it's slightly odd um, I'm probably going to next I'll find out what the video driver IC is on here I'm not looked for it yet but I'll, say I'll find out what that is and I'll have a scope around on the um, inputs and outputs of that and see if I can find out why the uh, why the image is flickering and uh, rolling like that but yeah uh, just thought I'd show you that for now there's obviously there's going to be a um, part two of this video when I've actually figured out what's um, what's causing that to happen but um, I'm actually quite surprised that I've even got this far with it with just replacement of one uh, RAM IC when it had quite such an over voltage issue when it's getting um, it was over 8 volts it was like nearly 8.5 volts um, on its uh, plus 5 volts line so I'm going to leave it at that um, I hope you enjoyed having a quick look at that um, computer there so thanks for watching and uh, Goodbye.